Hello everyone, this is Alex with Femto.io and I have here today our open source Femto USB board, an ARM powered uh, Atmel chip, uh, the ATSAM D21E18A providing 256 kilobytes of flash running up to 48 uh, megahertz and I have it wired up to an LED so we're gonna make it blink. I have here my Ubuntu Linux machine. I've uh, forked the Bosa uh, utility to upload stuff over USB and modified it to work with our chip. And uh, of course I have a, a sample here application, which basically just turns pin PA08 on and off every 500 milliseconds. To that effect, if you would like to build your own board and get this working, you too can do so by going to our GitHub repo on Femto.io and checking out Femto USB. It is a four layer board. You can use Eagle PCB to open it up. Um, you will see the bill of, uh, bill of materials in there uh, along with uh, the schematics and other stuff you need. So without further ado, here we go. Uh, Eclipse, a C, C++ project. I have the Atmel software framework. Uh, the SAM0 folder here and a couple of other things including a make file that uh, will help us build all of this and a little config. In the config I have a couple settings including uh, things that I need to include and a linker flag specifically since we already have the SAMBA bootloader on here uh, on this chip we need to actually tell it to start the program a little further up in, in our flash storage. Uh, in this case, the address is 0x2000, and you'll see that in the uh, SAMBA data sheet, uh, that, that if you have both USB and UART uh, enabled in your bootloader as a means of communications, uh, that's the offset you need to use. Additionally, the BOSA um, source code that we modified is also meant to detect the ATSAM D21E18A and start writing at that address. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna build this this uh, this project here. Okay, wonderful. It's built. So now we can actually use the BOSA shell to interact with our board. You can use BOSA C, the command line utility, and do this in one fell swoop, but, uh, well, I like the shell, so we'll give this a try here. BOSA shell. So as you can see, connected via USB. Now we're gonna scan for it and let the, the BOSA shell utility connect to it for us. Uh, otherwise, you could also do uh, connect space TTY ACM0 or wherever your your uh, board's connected to on your system, but we'll let scan do all that work for us, figuring it out on its own. There it is, found it. So now, uh, just so you know, we're all we're currently in the workspace, and you'll see that those are the generated files, including that bin file. We're gonna write to the chip. We're gonna write that LED toggle flash dot bin file on there. So. Back we go, scan, and now we use the write command, write, uh, LED toggle flash dot bin, and it should just start writing. There we go, complete, yep, 100%. Notice it's not blinking yet. It's still in bootloader mode. It's still running the bootloader uh, section of memory here. So what we're going to do is just disconnect and reconnect the board. We're essentially just resetting it. And once we plug it in, it'll start blinking. There we go. Blinking LED. Now, if we wanted to change our, our code or upload something else, right now if we try to scan for a device, it's not going to be able to uh, connect. And this is because we're not in bootloader mode. To go back into bootloader mode, 
you actually have to bring pin PA15 low. Uh, that signals the chip that, hey, run the bootloader stuff instead. Of course, this is a previous revision of our prototype. The latest revision, you will be able to see on the underside uh, two pads that you touch together. It's the PA15 and a ground pad. And so you will be able to bring this into bootloader mode much easier than I will today. Uh, in any case, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect, disconnect the board. And I'm going to connect pin PA15 to ground. Okay. And so now that it's connected to ground, when I plug it in, it's going to be brought low, and that's going to signal the chip to go into bootloader mode. No more blinking. Okay, so see, it's not running anymore. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that. Um, we don't need that after it goes into bootloader mode. Uh, but every time you start the chip back up, if you want to go into bootloader mode, PA15 needs to be brought low. Uh, so now we'll go back here. We'll scan again. Should be okay. There you go. Again, we will write, uh, let's pretend we just modified it, uh, recompiled. We're just going to go ahead and write that bin file. LED. We're going to write that bin file to the chip. There you go. Give the chip a restart. And it's blinking. Wonderful. Thank you very much, folks, for watching. And uh, I hope you guys try out the code and try out uh, this board and give it a shot and tell me what you think.